Hi everyone, welcome to Black River. Start the montage. Quite embarrassing when you've actually got people there watching you <laughs> but yeah you because know, we don't actually have music when you do our montages so that dancing was really free form I don't know if you guys remember a few weeks ago Lucy did a, a video on Black River and uh, you probably saw my comment there and said I have to come visit the tunnels well she's invited me look it's the actual tunnels and we've got Lucy well just she's just gonna show us the tunnels but we'll catch up with her in vanilla village a little bit later but Lucy, thanks for inviting us down here. Oh, and guys, pleasure. there's a link to hers below. But tunnels, we don't know what they are either. That one's probably a lime kiln. No idea on the tunnels. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Something to discover. Thanks, Lucy. You seem to be with a lot, don't you? Obviously, these tunnels are fantastic. But we have no idea. I'll, I'll give you a few ideas that I have. I think it's part of a battery. This is definitely a lime kiln. I'm convinced of it. I'm not sure why it has this big platform in front. Maybe to stack wood or something. Not 100% sure. But this, this here, this is a lime kiln. Let's go in. Because we can, we can. We're going into an actual lime kiln. And it's a big one. Have a look at this. Wow, and there's a tree. Mind the tree, guys. Oh. And apparently there are times of day when a beautiful sun coming down. Oh man, I'm just going to swing you guys up. Oh, guess who's outside there? <laughs> but look at the stonework. You can tell it's old because it's really bad stonework. I mean, it's good stonework. It's good stonework, but it's not form fitting like they normally have. And of course, there's so much missing from it. I'm convinced that this is actually a lime kiln. 100%. But the tunnels, I don't know. It doesn't feel like a lime kiln. It's too square. Okay, so we've got these two tunnels. The one here and the other one back there. I'll show you the other one. It's in better condition. But in the middle here, it's square. It's actually a square thing. And what, what's really interesting about it... Confusing. And this... In here. In this one. Which was probably fire. They probably built fires in it. But it would have... Would it have opened up into here? So maybe they, they did something something with fire here or maybe it was storage and they had big lots of sand on top that's been removed. Maybe it's a lime kiln with a battlement. Because <laughs> when I first saw these I thought you can put gunpowder in that. You put your... It, it, it's a very secure building. Maybe, maybe this is a, a, a fortification of some sort that they just put next to a lime kiln that they were using for storage. That makes sense. You could put a top on the lime kiln and use that for regular storage. And you keep your gunpowder in here and it would have been, you can see at the top, it would have been built up with soil on top, which makes it... Impenetrable. Impenetrable. <laughs> that tree could probably tell you what these used to be used for. King of the battlements. <laughs> There's a hole. <laughs> I walked up here and forgot. <laughs> There's a big hole there. But let, let's go on to the lime kiln. The capstones are missing, unfortunately. Or maybe it was deliberately done like this. Oh, there are so many thorns up here. I think one just went through my shoe. Okay, carefully. Woo. Like roses or something. Bogan Villas, that's what it is. Bogan Villa Thorn stabbing through my shoes. Anyway, over the top. Whoa. Wow. I think it could be a tamarind tree. You know what tamarind looks like? Um, aren't they flatter? <laughs> I think they're flat. Yeah. <laughs> This is squishy, whatever it is. I'm not sure that's <laughs> This is the reason you get a local guide. 
never would have found this but again thanks to lucy who's busy busy promoting uh Ever. <laughs> no. but how awesome is it look at the black shingle it actually has a black shingle roof um it's a little bit wild we'll go in look at this place I don't know how to get into it. I'm like so excited. I reckon, Brian, you could probably, I don't know if this door, I've never tried. <laughs> There's a door there. That's and where Lucy's brought go, us. Look, look what we're walking through. We can go around. <laughs> okay. okay, so I've made it to the veranda. It is a great veranda, but it's for kind of short people. As you can see, the, the head height is not very high. And you, I probably could have actually taken the easy way. Very easy to come straight through there. But look at this place. What a beautiful brand with the red, the red tile and the wooden shutters. Oh, and there's more and one of the doors is open. We'll go have a look there, but I think this window is open. Oh, no, it's wood inside. Well, obviously it's, if it's wood on the outside, it's probably wood on the inside. Well done, Brian. Anyway, have a look at that. Oh, and the ants have moved in. That's a big ant nest. But how beautiful is this house? <gasps> wow! New news just in um, as we uh, delicately close up all the windows and scamper out of here very carefully. Black River CID office. Uh, that's like the police. Okay, so there are lots of outbuildings here. There's one there, there's one there and there are a few down there. But it looks like the door is open. Let's go be CID for a day. Oh wow, you can see it so much better from here. And that's the doorway into the area that I was showing you earlier. And of course, all the desks and things still here. And Lucy did mention it, and there's the red car. It was sitting outside the front, making a beautiful contrast. Oh man, when they say banyan trees can eat anything, do you expect them to eat a car? They're actually eating through the car. And unfortunately, they're also slowly eating through that beautiful old wooden house. Wow, that is something else. I suppose my pink doesn't really match the beautiful red in the wood, but you will not believe how big this banyan tree is. It is a true, a true, true monster. Here we are. Look at the size of it. If I stood here for five minutes more, I'd be eaten. You're not going to believe what I just saw. You're not going to believe it. Have a look. Look at that. That's stone. It's not wood. It's stone with a with a red, a red brick chimney. That is fantastic. In the normal style with these old buildings, you would have a stone one if you had a wood house. You'd have a stone one where you did your cooking, and it would be separated from the house. House is there. Stone one is here, so they protected. So the fire would have been at the back of this house. As you can see, the front is wood. Wow, what a great find, what a great find. Actually, it wasn't a great find by me, it was a great find by Lucy. But what a great find. <laughs> what was the back? Is it cool? Oh, Can't man, wait to see. Stone, the, the stone kitchen. Ah. Just back there. Awesome. awesome. Obviously you come to Black River because of those old abandoned buildings, which are awesome. <laughs> okay, now some people come for other reasons. Uh-huh. And there's actually a livable marina. There is a marina, but you can Both go look at that. You can go look at, <laughs> at, at Lucy, who we still have with us. Go look at hers. She's got great drone footage of that. Go check that out. Me, low drone. <laughs> How cool is that? And guess where we're going? Stop standing right, on the edge. Right to the edge. <laughs> wow. Just out there. There's a cannon. We're going to go find a cannon and a Mortobello tower. Well, we've come to the shopping centre because we're angry. But look what it's got. It's got a dodo. Oh, he's showing the back to him. I have to come around this way. Come around this way. He's coming out of the wilds. Urgh. No, that's not what dodos make. Kur, 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 kur. <laughs> Feed it, Rick, feed it. Black River has a lot of shopping malls. Not like big ones, but these kind of smallish ones. Okay, they, they are actually quite large. Let me show you. But there's actually quite a few of them. 
Not what we're here for, that's another trip. We're just gonna get some food. That's a pretty cool place to have a coffee shop. Cafe Lux as well. And look at it, it's got the palm tree, which is awesome. But the mountain. Very nice, very nice spot. And oh, what a feature. RC, Ricky Carolyn. <laughs> there are a few things better when you're out and about on a full day than getting a sit down and enjoying an ice cold one. We'll have a panini in a minute. Look what just arrived. Tuna and Chin tomato and something panini. Yeah. Oh, and, Ooh, sauces. and some dipping sauces. <gasps> wow, how awesome is this? I don't know. Let me, let, let me tell you how awesome this is. Mm -hmm. Tomato tuna panini. I think this is probably the only way to do it. Yeah, <laughs> dip it in some mayo. <laughs> mm. Sounds crispy and yum. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> the mayo, a little bit of chili, <laughs> maybe a little bit of cabbage. <laughs> and carrot. Build your own panini. <laughs> Yum, yum. Fresh and good. Oh man, I can't wait. One more upgrade. One more upgrade. <laughs> I think I might just put a little bit more sauce on it. Yeah, Brian now has the plate in front of him because he's the messier eater. Yeah. There we go. Back on oh, chip yeah. salad tuna butty. <laughs> no, they're going to kick us out of Black River. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, that beautiful panini came from a place called Le Kiosk. Hopefully you can see that, because I am a bit trapped by a bush. So yeah, Rocio Creole Mall, I suppose. Oh, look at the creek trees. So happy that these are being planted everywhere. Oh, wow. How awesome are these! Oh. Ah, they're cool, eh? They really are! Mapoos and Ricky's together! <laughs> nice bathroom. Check! Black River is full of these estate agent type things. Uh, I'm not quite sure if they're called estate agents when they do these big developments and things. But there's a lot of development going on in Black River. Uh, we're going to miss most of that because we're doing the cool stuff, but there's a lot of development. Mm. Wow. So what I really enjoy about visiting places like Black River, which it is a tourist place, but it's also a lot of people live here. Uh, but it's very well developed. There's plenty of places you can park, shopping centers, toilets, restaurants. Everything, everything you possibly need. And it's huge. Oh man, look at this. It's a Martello, Martello Tower. I said it right. I've been saying Mortadello the whole day. But I got it right. Martello Tower. <laughs> look at it. It's huge. They are impressed. It is massive. You forget. You really do. I mean, we saw the one at what you may call it, and we'll probably go see the museum one, but. Wow! They look so much wider than a than a chimney. It, it, it's when you're used to chimneys, seeing this. Oh wow, beautifully. It's like wow, you know. Yeah. And it's got entrance ways, and I'm gonna see if we can't find a way in. Old blocks. Old marker blocks. This is a little unexpected. A doorway where anyone can come in. Now, normally the door up there is the one they would use. So someone must have put this in. But you are not going to believe. Watch out for the tree. How big this wall is. Well, they are for defense. So. Oh man, can wow, you see? I can. That extends forever. And here we are inside. Odd shape. Odd shape. And there's the red brick. British were here. <laughs> And look at this. Oh, wow, we're inside. We're actually inside. We are inside. This is me 
standing precariously on a log. It's got these like wagon wheels all the way around of stone and wood. Uh, I'm just going to walk forward a little bit. And then you've got this, which is probably, oh, and there's stairs going up and there's stone stairs going up. Oh, wow. Look at this. And they've got these stalactites on, on there. Wow. Wow. Actually inside of Matello Tower. Looks precarious. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's got like a central piece. Yeah. That's cool. Have a look at that wall. It actually has a, an arch to it. And in there is the little hatch. I don't know how many soldiers would have slept in here. But wow. Okay, I'm just going to go up the ladder now. See you guys at the top. The British built these from like 1832 or something. There used to be five. Oh, wow, look at the stalactites and the stalagmites. But there, have a look at that. And the ones on the top there as well, coming down. Look at that tiny little entranceway that you would have put a gun to shoot people out of. So narrow, they wouldn't have been able to shoot in. And look, down there, that's Ricky. There's another window over there, and that would have been the original door. But where I'm standing is actually solid stone. Oh, and that was probably the fireplace. It, it was dark there, but that was actually probably a fireplace. Stone stairs going up. Come with me, come with me. Oh, wow, it's like curved. It's a tower. <laughs> oh, man. And look at the steel hinges there. And then we're on top of a Mortello Tower. We're on top of a Mortello Tower. Look at this place. Let's hop up here. Oh, man. Wow. Protecting the bay. That's what they were doing. They were protecting the bay. Maybe a slightly better picture of Lamon. Wow. So this is the stone floor on top. And the cannon would have been attached to that and it would have radiated out and they would have looked over the edge and then they would have pushed it around with the wheels in that groove <laughs> okay let's go back downstairs it's incredible and the water dripping through the lime water making all those stalactites and things like a, like a cave inside here super cool awesome awesome Okay, let's go back down. Is it awesome? Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! This is unbelievable! Walking out of the Mortello Tower for the montage! Okay, we're gonna go slowly because there's not much of it. I mean, it's only like a three meter wall, so. <laughs> I really like Martello Towers, they are incredible. And this is uh, La Harmony. I think it's a national heritage because La Harmony Battery is a national heritage. And what else is not part of your battery but a Martello Tower? Wow. Check out this abandoned house. We're going to go inside and have a look. But wow, we've got some stairs going up, up to that. Let's go check it out. The stairs continue up. They just keep going. That looks like a bathroom behind me. And you've got a great lookout view there. Oh, we can actually get to it. We can actually get to it. And that's a huge house. Look at this. In there, all the way down. What's with the basement? Huge ceilings. Weird. Little bit odd, but let's get to the cool bit. Tiles. And views. Wow. Where's Ricky? There's Ricky all the way down there. And you see me. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. It's a big house. Are you going to stay down? Yeah. Oh man, how fantastic is this balcony? Uh, it's really great. This would have probably been like a, I don't know, like a main lounge maybe. But look at this view. Huh? Wow. Okay, that's a new complex, but wouldn't have been here at the time. And 
just off to the edge there, the Mortello Tower. Ha! Oh, and it actually goes around more. Oh, no, it doesn't. But wow, why would you abandon a house here? This is a great abandoned house. This is like the best abandoned house so far. I think it's somehow linked to the Harmony Battery. I think it used to be part of the defenses or something. Okay, well, it does have big stone walls. I don't know if you can see down there. Because the Harmony Battery had 12 cannons and it was situated right here. This looks a bit like the kitchen coming off that main room that I showed you. So probably a kitchen here and then through here loads and loads of graffiti and the whole place is clean. It is. There might be graffiti on the walls but there's no rubbish on the floors and that's fantastic. Here's in her sinks and the shower room and I think we have to go out here. I'm not sure how, how it would have worked because this room here is not joined to the others. <gasps> the graffiti here is beautiful. Oh wow. Look at that tree and swinging across. Oh man. And there. Wow, and huge ceilings. Oh man, what a place this would have been. I'm going out on what would have probably been the back veranda. So out here, and it's a big area and it, but I'm just gonna just mosey on, on the outside bit here, because there is a path. So let's follow it a bit. I'm not actually following the path. The path is there. This means it's actually a very popular place to come. You can see more in Lucy's video. Uh, do skateboarding and cycling and all that sort of fun stuff. Just past this wall, just over there, is the sea. And this is a very thick stone wall. And it was very important because this was an actual battery. A place where they would have had cannons sticking out that direction. They would have fired to protect the bay. And the reason I know that is because one got left behind. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. Oh man. Oh man. And it's a mobile one. It's mobile. So they would have fired, it would have gone back and then come forward again. But you could rotate it because it was on wheels. Look at that. So you could actually line up your, your firing angle there. And over here, you've got your elevation meter. So these guns were probably incredibly accurate. Incredibly accurate. Oh, wow. Wow. There, Out there is the sea, but we safe, we safe, because we got our friend. Wow, wow, what a great condition cannon. Oh man, oh man, that, that is a cannon. And he would have protected out there towards Le Mans. That is a great cannon. Let's go find Ricky. See the path? Well, we found Ricky. So down we go stumbling to the beach. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, it's actually steeper than it looks. Whoa. It's very steep. Oh, wow. This has been Ricky's view while I was looking at cannons. I think mine wins, but only just. And there's a cow. Which is cool, because there used to be cows grown in this area. St. Augustine, 1857. But it does look old around the edge more than it does on the front. But guess what we get to do for the first time in for ages? We're going in to see the stained glass. We actually can go in. Awesome. glass is really thick. I never realized how thick stained glass glass is. Wow, it's really, really thick. Huh. The 
quite often get caught up in the stonework and the stained glass when we come into, into churches. But you always forget about the beautiful wooden benches. And these are really old, really worn, really well made, solid wood. Pretty cool. Oh, Ricky's found something. Nice, butt shot. Hey, boy. <laughs> I was filming you beautifully walking out the door. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the beautiful gardens at the church. Really nice. Yeah, although we're going to show you quite a lot of history in Black River, there's not nearly as much as there should be. Because there used to be a magnificent sugar estate here. Really? But nothing remains of it. Actually, the sugar estate that uh, Paul and Virginie came to. Really? That was actually yeah. here in Black River? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Walking away from the church for the montage. <laughs> anyway, to the Paul and Virginie story. They came here to ask for one of the slaves to be freed. And uh, then, then they actually had to walk all the way back up there. But it's interesting, in, 16, in the 1690s, a group that had been stranded on Rodrigues Island actually came to Black River and there were Dutch settlers here. There were actually Dutch settlers here. And apparently it was a fantastic outpost and they really loved their time here. And they yeah, were they French, had, so... They the had uh, like tobacco and... And pigs and chickens and everything all that they needed. It was fantastic. Yeah, he was Leguet, something like that. Leguet, Leguet. He was a... He was trying to be a Huguenot. Fascinating story, fascinating yeah. story. Something that, that we... I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Black River Post Office. Wow, it's a really old building. It really, really uh, is old, although they've painted it newly. The old Black River Post Office. Wow. Next to this huge banyan tree. Oh, man. Bernadine St. Pierre probably sent a letter from here up to Le Bourdonnais and Mr. Poir. Poir. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Pepper. Mr. Poiv. Mr. Pepper. Uh, because he wasn't happy with Mr. Kale, the guy who came in and did the whole proper map of Mauritius. Left out the Tamarind Mountain. There's a spur that he left out at Tamarind. On the Tamarind Mountain that he forgot to put on his map. And Bernadine St. Pierre was like, nah, can't get everything right. But he probably sent the letter from this post office. <laughs> cool. Black River Cemetery. It's actually, again, one of the cemeteries on the beach. You can see the sea through there somewhere. Yes, you can. You can see the sea. It's a marine cemetery, they call it. Which is not necessarily because sailors were buried here. It's because it's on the sea. <laughs> That is a very, very old cemetery. 1837. And somewhere is the tomb of Colonel Draper. And it's actually a National Heritage Site. Yeah, I can't seem to find it. Yeah, they don't make it easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Caught on a branch, it's not a ghost trying to catch me. But some of these are really old. And some are very old, but really well looked after. But somewhere here, Colonel Draper's uh, National Heritage uh, Tomb is. And it's weird because he came to Mauritius um, just at the beginning, 1810, to, to help with the police and to help with the army and, and all sorts of things. And he actually started the, the Turf Club. And that's probably why his tomb is a National Heritage uh, monument because of the turf club but he wasn't a very good man no, he wasn't. Uh, in trinidad he went to prison for being a loud mouth and uh well basically going against the commission of, going against the commission of inquiries he was a uh, anti anti abolished anti-abolishment anti-abolishment activist of slavery abolishment of slavery so they made a tomb to him, which is, I find a bit odd. Oh yeah, you're going to see quite a few of the signs saying Grand Riviere Noir, because that means Black River. Well, technically large Black River, because there's a small one as well. Wait for it. Black River has not one, but two Martello Towers and they're both National Heritage Sites. Can you believe it? It's a double day for Martello Towers. Look at it. And also, guess what else it's a double day for? cannons and little cannons and they had a baby how cute is that cannon i mean wow compared to that one 
You know? <laughs> what do you want about baby cannons? Oh, sweet little thing. Bazooka. Yeah, I know, I think so. For safety. It is national heritage. But you can see it's got the sight. So cool. <laughs> I suppose if you don't come too late, it's an actual museum. Oh, that little red car's in trouble. Yeah, so they've added an easier accessible door and apparently inside they've got like examples of uniforms that the people used to wear, actual real real wow. old uniforms and all sorts of things. It looks like they have another cannon on the top. Like They've done it really, really nicely. Yeah, this Motel Atar, this is Le Prenus, and it used to have five cannons at the battery. Wow. Yeah, maybe six. Six. Six, six, yeah. <laughs> Beer is another YouTuber. Oh yes, of course. Okay, now, now I know. <laughs> Guess what I found at the Mortello Tower? <laughs> it's Vera from Vero Veroos. Vero Veroos. <laughs> Hopefully, I said that correctly. But she's a fellow YouTuber, and she's also um, doing doing some stuff at the moment. Uh, Documentary, taking life history. <laughs> so documentaries and taking life history. So I'll put a link to her channel below, and you guys can go check her out. She's now in Black River. She used to be up there in Vakwa, so go check her out. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> it's going to force us to go and see it. So we have to actually get out and actually and actually see places. And the more we picked up the camera, the more we saw, so the more we started showing it. Otherwise, you just stay at home on your couch. Yes. <laughs> if you just stay at home, you know, you, you waste your Saturday. But now we go out, we visit two places, we have a good time. Cool. Black River's got so many YouTubers, and now we've got Vera showing us a cannon. Wow, on the beach again. Pretty awesome. There's Le Mans over there. Now, apparently, when they were digging up the channel, it washed the sea away. The, the, they used to have a beautiful beach here. Washed, washed the sea away. <laughs> washed the sand away. But now it's moved down there. So the sand is still here, but it's moved away. But they did, they did leave one thing. Another cannon. It's like set in stone. And they have another one. So this is like a cannon beach. This is Le Prenus. Le Prenus. And it was very important because that's the sea and the ships would just come in here the French or English or whoever was fighting they would just come in here and they had to protect it firing their cannons from their Mortello towers and their batteries down there are bathrooms and the Mortadilla tower actually does have a cannon Martello. on top I don't know if you can see it <laughs> but, but we came here for the anchor Brian has a thing about Mortadello Towers. Towers and towers of Mortadello. Nothing wrong with Mortadello Towers. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And another cannon, another cannon. How many is that we've seen now? Wow, that's one, two, three, four, five, six cannons. Wow. That's the top of the Mortadello Tower with a cannon. Wow. So there you go. Number six. And those are actually the toilets behind there. Isn't that kind of nice that they've made to fit in? And this is probably one of the few national heritage sites that actually has public toilets. No, I think there were some at Upper Vassy. Don't worry. The, the, most of the best national heritage sites have a public toilet. Our final cannon of the day. Hopefully not. Hopefully there are a few more in the future. But this one's set right inside the stone. It's and not it has greedy. been well painted, so it's going to be here for a long, long time. Hang in there, buddy. We'll see you in 200 years. There's a map of how the Mortadel Tower would have worked. Cool, you can figure it out from there. Pause. Okay, it's kind of a mission to get here because there's a lot of roads that come parallel with the main road, but there are none that go up the hill. And it is quite a hill, but it's worthwhile to get here. This literally translates, try to ignore the pigeon, we'll get closer. Literally translates as the cave of the Virgin of the Poor. The cave of the Virgin of the Poor. Let's go up and have a look because it's quite unique with that flying pigeon which you probably can't see. But we'll get a backdrop with mountain behind it. So as you can see, we're quite high up. 
it is still a little hard to make out but that's a huge pigeon up there on what I think is a house or a church we we think it's a church and hopefully we're not trespassing oh I think it's a church it didn't say anything and the gate was open yeah. they have made a beautiful bougainvillea walk through very pretty wow that flying pigeon is something else you can see its wings there they actually made it look like it's made out of um feathers it is fascinating and there's a little puppy That sea is epic. I suppose technically we partially climbed up the tallest mountain in Mauritius. <laughs> we started the process. <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose it's appropriate to have a giant pigeon and a huge mountain behind me as I do my outro. Black River. Wow, we spent the whole day here and there's still, still so much more to discover. And it was great meeting, meeting Lucy and Vero and well just everyone we met was fantastic so anyway black river thanks for having us we will be back and everyone for watching thank you so much see you next time